Hey yo, it's me Harper Savage and today we're working on Inktober. Today's prompt is horn. Well, let's get started. Get my eraser and my pencil as usual. Let's go ahead and get started. Well, my idea is a highland cow. Let's kind of tilt it off to the side a little bit. Looks like a bull so far. <laughs> well, this uh, looks interesting so far. Well, this is a uh, not looking at the best right now. <laughs> oh no. What have I done? Now I chose a Highland Cow because they're fluffy. I really just wanted to draw fluffies. I think the eyes need to be moved down. <laughs> oh no. I think one eye is a little bit wrong. I just don't know which. It's this one. It just doesn't look right to me. Now the prompt is horn singular, I believe. So uh, I might chop one of these horns off. I wanted the head itself to be like more full on the page here, but like the prompt is horn, so I should have a horn. I'm scared if I erase it, it won't look good after I try again. Uh, I think I want to make it bigger. After all that, <laughs> I just can't make it so big that like the horns aren't gonna be. Unless I did something like this, where it was just half the um head. I know this still looks weird, but hopefully the fur will make the head shape not so weird. I might make the eye bigger and lower too. I'm having a hard time deciding if I want it to be like fluffed up or like pulled forward. I'm finally at a point where I'm going to start inking it. Um, if you don't know my process by now, these are not the final ink lines. These are just like the lines not our placeholder until I'm done coloring it. So they're just gonna be like, um, not perfect lines. I also chose the thinnest marker I have. I'm not even sold on the lines being brown. I know the Highland cows are usually brown, but I have like an idea of what I wanna do for the background and it involves covering the whole thing with my ink like I'm gonna water down this ink here and like paint over the whole thing and then I might go back in and change the line colors I don't know we'll, we'll see I have an idea of what I want to do in my head I promise Okay, while this dries, I'm gonna go ahead and start setting up my inks to paint them on. I let it dry for a bit and I mix up some of my inks. That's what you see over here is that little ink test I did. I'm gonna erase all the pencil lines before I go in with the ink. I remembered to tape off the edges before I started painting this time, guys. Are you proud of me? But where's the end? Oh my God. Uh, side note, I'm only taping off three of the edges. Now it's time to go in with the painting. All right, that didn't take a whole lot of time. I'm gonna wait for this layer to dry and I'll come back and decide if I wanna add another layer. So I used up the rest of the ink so there's like a second layer on here. It's all dry ish now mostly dry so i grabbed my bleed proof white because i'm going to be putting in some white floral here i grabbed my um mixer thingy I'm gonna see oh this was not on all the way so hopefully it's fine let's see how liquefied this is if i need to water any more down 
think I'll water it down just a smidgen. My plan is to put daisies in here, but I'm not doing any line art for it. I kind of want it to be more abstracty. So it's gonna be something like just pulling lines into a center here. I was not expecting that to happen for it to pull away from there. I don't know if I want to do like an orange center or yellow center yet. First one is not going well though. Maybe I'll let it dry a little bit here. I don't know, I thought my uh, idea was gonna be cute and now I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> Not a fan of how this is coming out. Man, I was really hoping it'd be good too. This one is like what's killing me here. This one just does not want to stay there. And now it's not like a nice round shape, it's like a weird shape. This one's just ruined, I think. <laughs> Maybe it's like one that's like together with another one or something, I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna wait for this to dry. All right, it is mostly dry. There are some wet spots still, but I'll try to avoid them the best that I can. I'm going to attempt to use this in pure form. I don't need this over here anymore. To do the outlines on the, the cow here.
because I already cleaned up, I kind of forgot about the highlight in the eye, but I'm going to add it in with a Posca marker. This is where we're at so far. I'm going to do my best here. We'll make it nice looking. I did two little ones instead of like one giant one. I don't know. I wasn't feeling the giant one today. So now I just want to do some finishing touches up on these flowers here. Alright, and here it is all done. I well, thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to do all the cool youtube -y things of comment, liking, and subscribing. There's some X on there. And I will see you again in the next video. Bye-bye!